I'm Erin Nolan from the Science Off Center team here at the St. Louis Science Center and today I'm going to show you how to make a density bottle. Now density has to do with what floats on top of what else. It has to do with how closely those little tiny molecules that make everything up, how closely they're packed together. So in order to do this project you'll need some vegetable oil, some corn syrup, a cup for the corn syrup, a cup of water, food coloring, some string utensils, and of course a bottle. The first thing you want to do is get some colors going. So go ahead and color the water. And you'll also want to pick a second color for the corn syrup. And it's a color that will mix with the water color, okay? Because eventually there will be some mixing. Next, squirt out some corn syrup. You'll want to fill the bottle eventually, so it works out to about a cup of each, depending on how big your bottle is. Corn syrup and water do mix together well, which means that food coloring that's designed for watery things can work with corn syrup. One thing that you have to be aware of, though, is that the corn syrup and this water will also mix, which means you'll get blue and red mixing together. Fortunately, that makes purple, which is a pretty color. Next, all we have to do is add them all into this bottle. Now, because they'll sort out based on density with the most packed in stuff on the bottom and the most spread out stuff on the top, it doesn't really matter which order we put them in. So I'm going to start with some vegetable oil. And like I said, you'll want to put about a third of each one in since we want to fill the bottle. So about a cup depending on how big your bottle is. That should work. Next, I'm going to put in the corn syrup. Now if the corn syrup is more dense than the vegetable oil, it'll sink. If it's less dense, it'll float. We can find out. And I can see here that the corn syrup is sinking below the vegetable oil, which means that it's heavier than the vegetable oil for how much space it takes up. It's more dense. And then last, I'm going to add the water. So now we can figure out how dense the water is based on where it ends up in these layers. Alright. So now we can see that the red ended up in the middle, which means that it's less dense than the corn syrup, but more dense than the vegetable oil. So we can see that it's an in-between. If you put on the top, you can spin things around and find out if things can change. So if I flip it like this, then slowly but surely the corn syrup will drop down to the bottom, the vegetable oil will rise to the top, and the water will still be in the middle. Now, like I said, the water and the corn syrup will blend together, so the more you mix it up, the more of that in-between purple color you'll have. So, experiment. You can try other fluids too. It doesn't just have to be corn syrup, water, and vegetable oil. And have fun!